OAC, I call it OAC, outer appearance confidence, does not equate to your game, fellas. You must remember that. It does not equate to your game. And what does OAC mean? That means a guy that's actually living outside himself and he's within its appearance and the imagery and what he's wearing, um, the haircut, the, the jewels, the clothes, the fragrance and things of that sort. It does not equate what you have in game. And a lot of guys will get that mixed up and they intertwine that with a mouthpiece, thinking that if they would was to lead with the appearance, then they can nab a chick and bring her in. And then they can wield the mouthpiece, not knowing that how you lead and how you nab a chick and bring her in is how she can look at you and view you despite the mouthpiece that you have. So if you bringing her in with the way you look, the way you smell, and anything else other than the shit that you're saying out of your mouth that makes her imagine the situation that she can have with you or imagine the perfect time or perfect place for you banging them guts all the way through, I'm going to keep it real, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Then she's not going to give a fuck about what you got to say. You know, she's going to go off what you're possession and what you coming with and you will get comfortable with what you possession and coming with and you will think that that's what it is to nab her when it's all about the game that's gonna nab her and keep her in that's real shit and y'all already know what time it is wrists elbows knees feet shin and everything to the back of her neck holding her down locking down submerging her down that game please like share subscribe hit the notification bell as soon as i go these videos type in high status you're gonna get it down your ear or We'll get the game down your ear all your candy game. Big facts, fellas. I said, let me go and hit him with a back-to-back doubleheader. Because this is something they need to be talking about. Because guys get this shit confused all the, all, all the time. Older men, younger men. You'd be surprised, fellas, who get these things confused. Now, <clears throat> go join the Patreon. Get on the seven-day free trial, which includes the 5 and $10 tiers. I'm steady dropping over there, so there's no excuse. Holla at me, man. Go to Rumble and join KC the Red Pill Alpha Debunker on Rumble. Download the Rumble app and go and join and become a subscriber. Become a follower, fellas, and fuck with the videos that I can't post on YouTube. Just as well as that file that you're on that Patreon. Those are videos I can't. I got thousands of videos, fellas. I got them out here that you ain't never seen. Go and join the Patreon. Join the Rumble and you'll get to it. Get that many Gmail. Rails for Argo 12 at gmail.com. And holler at me. Go to the description below my about section. My number's there. Text first, always text. I be getting motherfuckers calling and that, that, that don't happen, fellas. Text and get at me. You know what I'm saying? And we can get the consultation going, the video topics, whatever the case may be. But let's get to it. What don't equate, fellas, and what don't equal out is the things that you got to say that comes out your mouth. And I know guys are like, so what is it? Something special you got to say to a woman? Is it... Something that she's never heard before? No. Women heard everything under the sun. Just like you probably, it's possibly you heard everything under the sun. None of this shit knew. But she never heard these things from you. Not only that she never heard these things from you, um, she would like to hear these things from a man instead of, getting beaten around the bush and a guy faking like he wants to say these things but he would rather take her to dinner and lunch and you know and go out all these extravagant shit and these trips and vacations and events and things of that sort just to beat it around the bush to get a piece of that motherfucking monkey right she would rather from it come from a man she knows what's on your mind she know what you got to say so speak that shit bring it out and let her know what it is fellas that's a part of the game you know what I'm saying? Being com comfortable in your skin and being comfortable within your mouthpiece and who you are. Being confident, you know what I'm saying? Being decisive, being assertive, um, just being candid and going straight at it is a part of having game. You'd be surprised on how many guys that lacks these things. And if you're the guy that's bringing forth these things and that makes you stand out different from someone else, it's not your appearance. It's not the shit that you wear, the jewelry, the, the smell goods and how you walk and all that other, your shoes and give a fuck about all that. What you're driving, you stay in the big mansion. Don't none of that mean nothing, man. Can she drop her guard around you? Can she feel comfortable around you? Will you be that guy who judge or not? What type of man are you? That's a part of having game. You know what I'm saying? I doubt if she can take your fucking 
your cologne and your jewelry and your clothes and stuff it all up in there, bang herself out with the motherfucker, man. She got I doubt she can lay up on it and caress it and care for it and learn to love this motherfucker and be on the programming of this clothes and clothing and shit. No, it's got to be from you, who you are. So, yeah. OAC, you know, your outer um, appearance, confidence, and things of that sort, fellas. It's just a sham. That's bullshit. Don't allow that to gain confidence for you just because you got a lot of money. You got nice vehicles and clothes, and you can do whatever you possibly want to do in life or whatever. No. Nah. If that right there sets precedence and standards for your confidence, then you already lost in the game. It's all within you. You make that shit what it is. You, who you are. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just in a gray Nike hoodie, fellas. Put the motherfucker on my head. I make this hoodie what the fuck it is. You see how I fit and tight on these muscles and shit? I make, and you, you, you got an overweight lover, he throw that motherfucker on, it don't look right. You got a real frail guy, he throw it on, it won't look right. You might have a midget, a guy that's super extra tall or whatever, it may not look right, but it looks right on me. And then the next person's eyes, it may not look right on me. It may look right on the super tall guy, the overweight lover on the man. Who knows, right? But it's all within you. It's your confidence. I'm confident that this shit looks good on me. And that's what it is. And it's look good on me, so I make this shit look good. That's what it is, fellas. You get it? So you can't have an outer appearance confidence. That's bullshit. It's supposed to be within. And it's going to always be within. And that's the game. Come over and fuck with me, fellas. And remember... Go and join the Patreon. Support the show with the Cash App, you know. Get at me on live when I go live, fellas. I, ain't, I can't get you in a direct time, but I be I go live a lot, you know, every time there five days a week, <clears throat> sometimes six. Come and fuck with me, man. There's no way you can't get at me. I'm always be here. Consultations. Go to the my number below my description below my bow section. You'll see my number. Go there and hit me with a text. We'll get shit set up. Holla. Mm -hmm.